Hi, my name is Erin, and I'm a media mentor at the Poudre River Public Libraries. In today's tech tip, I'm going to demonstrate format tips for Excel. Let's get started. Excel is a great program for crunching numbers. However, it's not always easily readable. Today, I'm going to take some raw data and transform it from a hard to understand format to a format that's clear and consistent. In this example, I have a simple household inventory list. Column A provides the date I check supplies. Column B describes the items. Column C notes how many items are in stock. And column D designates whether I need to buy more. It's a simple way to keep track of what I have available and what I need to purchase next time. Let's look at five steps that can make this information easier to read and understand. The first step I'm going to take is to auto adjust the column widths. Some of the information listed, especially in column B, isn't fully viewable in this existing format. To see the full info, I'm going to quickly adjust the column widths. In the top left corner of the data, there's an arrow between row one and column A. Click the All Select arrow to highlight the entire worksheet. Then I'm going to scroll my mouse over the top columns, and when the cursor hovers over a column break, it will change to the appearance of a black cross. Double click the mouse and the columns will be automatically resized to fit the contents. The good news is that now I can see all the data entered in column B. However, I can no longer see the information in columns C and D. This change is due to a data cell with lots of content. I'm going to zoom out the worksheet view, and it's clear that auto-sizing the cells worked for most of my data in column B, except for the top cell in row two, where the light bulb entry was extra full. To fix this issue, I'm going to add in a feature called wrap text that takes a long row of data and converts it into a more readable chunk. To demonstrate how this works, I'm going to return the column to its original width. Then I'll select column B, go to the top ribbon, and under the Home tab, look for the Wrap Text box and click it. Now the longer entries are still fully viewable. The next format tip is also a good general principle anytime a worksheet is being created in Excel. Excel works best and can return the most value when the data is atomized and broken down into the smallest components. For example, the item list in column B includes names, types, and sizes. For best results, this information should be broken down so each category has its own column. By keeping data in as small as possible a unit, the data will be easier to work with and understand. I'm going to add in new columns after column B and break the data down to the smallest descriptors. Now let's see how the data looks. All the information that used to be housed in column B is now in four separate columns for item, type, location, and size. It's much easier to see how the information is organized and broken down into separate parts. The next fix I'm going to add is to tell Excel how to format the information that I've put in. Looking at column A, the dates that have been entered are inconsistent. This situation can also happen a lot when you have more than one person entering data. Excel will default to formatting the data to a general format, even though the data could be budget numbers, dates, percentages, and so forth. To specifically tell Excel what your information is and how to display it, select column A, go to the top ribbon under the Home tab, and click on the drop-down arrow in the Numbers box. There are lots of options to pick from. Since column A is a list of dates, I'm going to choose Short Date. Now in column A, all the different date entries are standardized to the same date format. Now the data is looking much more user-friendly. 
However, I notice when I scroll down, the list is long enough that I can't see the header information once I go down past a certain point. So I'm going to set up a feature called freeze pane so that I can always view the header no matter how far down the data set goes. To set up this feature, go to the top ribbon and select the view tab. Look for the freeze panes box. You can choose to freeze the top row, the first column, or customize which rows and columns to freeze. Now the information in the top row stays the same no matter how far down I scroll. Okay, now let's do a before and after shot of the data. Here's the original data set I started with, and here's the data after using five format changes. It looks good. Thank you for watching this demonstration on Excel format tips from the Pooter Libraries. To watch more tech tips, check out the Pooter Libraries playlist on YouTube or visit our website at www.pooterlibraries.org.